What up? Welcome. Welcome. We're excited to have you here today. What's good? I want to say, first off, congratulations to you on all your success. 2021, you've been making it happen. And we are so proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes. Now, we're excited about you and all the projects you've been working on. Recently, you know, Snowfall is one of the hottest shows everybody is talking about. I mean, how does it feel to be a part of this amazing show? Feels great to be a part of Snowfall. I got an excellent cast and, and crew that we work mm -hmm. with. You know, it was helmed by the late great John Singleton. Yes. It's also it's it, it's amazing to be a part of something that his legacy is still living on. You know, with with particular um, project. So mm -hmm. it's ecstatic to be a part of it, and we get into that season finale tomorrow. So I'm. Oh man. <laughs> People are going to feel the wrath of what we've been cooking for the last um, year and a half because, you know, we got we had to um, go on a, on a brief hiatus because of the mm -hmm. pandemic. So, um, yeah, a lot of, you know, the fruits of our labor, labor is, is finally coming to fruition, you know. And I want to tell you, I mean, this season, I mean, the viewers have increased, I would say, 5.1 million I mean, 41% just this season alone. And to be a part of that, I mean, that is truly really amazing. Yeah, it always feels good to see that you are, you know, that you, that people are loving what we're doing. I feel like we've been doing good work for a while. So <laughs> now, you know, because of the pandemic, I think a lot of people were able to sit home um, and, and binge something that they regularly wouldn't be able to go back three seasons to watch something, you know? So I, yes, I think people in the comments said the best show out, and it is right now. It is the best show out. I'm telling you, uh, it is out on Wednesdays. I mean, I'll be in the bed watching, but I'll be clinching. You know, I'm like, oh my god, it's so it's lit every time. Put to check it out on on Thursday as well because you know Hulu is it drops the next day to follow okay. night on Hulu. So for the people that aren't able to check it on FX, they can check it the next day. And I think that's been an uptick of the popularity as well. Now your character, tell us a little bit about your character for those who might not know, you know, um, Saint, you know, Jerome Saint. I, I like the styling too, you know, so tell us a little bit about your role. I play the, the uncle to a, to a young, I guess we can call him a, a street entrepreneur. Yes. But, um, my nephew's character, he has, he, he's destined for greatness. And, um, and it kind of shows the, the, the tragic tale, the peril that one has to go through to, um, to be self-made, you know, especially with the nefarious means of, of selling drugs, you know, so he's mm -hmm. cocaine in his neighborhood. And I, um, and I partner with him on doing that. And uh, the rest you got to check out on any you know, <laughs> Wednesday at 10 PM to see. Yeah. To see all of the violence and all of the negotiations that ensued because of us taking that um that first challenge of selling that first key. Now, how do you prepare for this role? I mean, it's a lot of like you said, violence. How do you get prepared to get in that mental state? I would say. Mm. A lot of uh, preparation, a lot of mm -hmm. education. You know what I mean? I went to I went to school for for acting and. And I always consider myself a student of, of, uh, in a, of the psychology of, of us, of our people, you know. And I would like to be able to tell our stories with, um, with a lot of, I don't know, a, a lot of passion, a lot of mm -hmm. transparency, a lot of creativity. So that's what I pour into uh, the Jerome St. character. And speaking of school, you went to Howard University. It's a lot of talent. They come out of Howard. Yeah. Michael, <laughs> Do you work with anybody that Michael went to Hyatt Howard? Our show, Michael Hyatt, she went to um to Howard as well. Okay. It all, yeah. That's amazing. And you have your own production company, Dark Energy Pictures. I mean, like that is amazing in itself. I mean, tell us a little bit about what you specialize with that. Well, I specialize in in 
films that are multicultural, ethnic, mm -hmm. and um, whether it's spanning from sci-fi to, to drama to comedy. Um, our, our film that we have right now in, in, in post-production, rather, okay. is the Willie Mays Aiken story about a, a baseball player that at the height of his career, um, it was thwarted because of his own drug use. Um, it's a redemption story about him getting his life back together. Mm -hmm. uh, again, his name is Willie Mays Aiken, and the name of that film is The Royal. Now, can we expect any more films coming up as well? Yeah, I have a few films coming up. I have some mm -hmm. projects I'm working on as well. I like to keep things kind of under the hat until they come to fruition. <laughs> yes. Mom's on it, but we did get a, a fifth season pickup uh, for Snowfall, so I'm excited about that as well. Yes. <laughs> so we get to see more <laughs> of the route. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Now, also, you know, what I want to know, we always talk about what you, what you love to do, what you, your work, but what is it that you actually love to do? What is your passion? What is my passion? I mean, I do what I love to do. That's the, okay. be the beautiful I mean, outside of work. It ain't work to me. It's, you know, <laughs> like, at the I feel you. That's how I am. I you feel you. Up so that it doesn't feel like work, but I, I know what you're saying. Um, yeah. I'm good for a good chess game. Okay. I like the stock market. I like uh, my new my new passion is is looking into NFTs and mm -hmm. and everything about you know different ways to put art and, and our culture on the blockchain. Those are some of the things that I'm into. I like I like gaming. I like video gaming. I like um, I like spending time with family and vacationing and. Yeah. And teaching, teaching my daughter new words. I mean, I like, I like, <laughs> like a you lot. A girl, dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all of that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a well-rounded person like anyone else. Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely take my craft serious, and and that isn't a job to me. It's it's more of a life passion. It's a way that a transformational power of me being able to connect to my audience and, yeah. and learn about the world a little bit more. And you not only do that, you always give them back as well, organizations you work with. Um, you also uh, have, you know, given back with the awareness movement. Now, tell me a little bit about the awareness movement. Well, you know what? The, I haven't been working with the awareness movement of, okay. re of recent, but I'm always looking to to make inroads into the communities in which I used to live, like so, my Far Rockaway Queens, or my mm -hmm. New York, or my South Carolina. Um, oh, and, South Carolina, my home state. And <laughs> these, uh, North Carolina. I'm mm -hmm. always to uh, to pour back into the communities that pour back into me, and wherever I lay my head. So right now, I'm living in Los Angeles. So a lot of the outreach that I do is in Los Angeles now because this is where I'm where I'm at. I believe that you should, you know always have your hands into the community where you are so that um, so that the cycle of, of giving, um, the way that I've turned into a, a, a dynamic person, soul, because people in the, in the environments that I was into, they reached out to me and they gave me a helping hand. So I like to do the same thing um, yes. in any community that I'm in. And right now I focus that in South Central. Okay, I love that. I love it. Now, we we also want to go into what's next. You know, it's 2021. We still here in a pandemic because you in LA like I am. <laughs> so what is next for you? What is next as far as what pandemic wise? You want me to give you the Fauci? No, I'm I mean just saying projects, anything. What What is next? You know, 2021. <laughs> I mean, you know, to me, it's more of the same, man. I think that is really important for us as, as um, I think it's really important for us as people to to have um, some self care to be able to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Time home, you know, binging shows like Snowfall, but also is a is a is an amazing time right now to uh, still be invested in the lives of the people that live in your own house. Yes. And making sure that we're taking care of each other and that um as we as things kind of open up and we outside 
I think I'm outside, but I ain't outside. I'm outside. <laughs> Outside, but I ain't like, like I'm outside but I'm like if you sneeze I'm kind of like yo uh -huh. go home <laughs> but um that's jokes but as we as we come out you know I feel like we should um realize that a lot of things have changed for a lot of people in the last year and that a lot of people are hurting a lot of people are dealing with the PTSD of not being able to bury their family members so we should just uh -huh. We should just always be aware that not everybody is is going to be on like some spring break, you know, like white boy summer. Uh, sometimes some people are going to be about, you know, about mourning. And, and we should just make sure that we uh, are gentle with humanity right now because we're all going through this together as a collective. Most definitely. I know you got a birthday coming up, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm outside, but I ain't outside, outside. I want to be uh, big shout out to anybody that's having a, a April birthday. All my Aries and Taurus, you know, Taurus season is officially <laughs> upon us. And um, yeah, so all my bulls, what up? Well, I'm a Cancer. You know, we coming to <laughs> we ain't holding up cancers. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm just so like I said, honored to have you here today. I just wanted to talk with you and let everybody see you. You know, we are cheering you on all your success, everything you keep doing. We're going to keep cheering you on. Like, like I said, I'm so proud of you having your own production. You know, we need more. We need to be more owners, you know, and you're doing that. You're doing what you love and you're being an owner at the same time. So I'm just so honored to have you here today. And, you know, we want everybody to connect with you. Follow you. Let them know where they can go to. Well, you can get me on. Um, you can hit me up on any social media platform. Amen, Joseph. Uh, it's pretty simple like that. You know, I'm I'm pretty easy to reach. Um, and I guess in closing, I just I hope everyone checks out Snowfall and also check out the filmography of of, of the late John Singleton. You know, our true legend that was able to give us Snowfall as one of his last installments. Go check out his filmography from the beginning to the end and, and see, you know, see what type of life, look at that life work, you know. Mm -hmm. We need to always, you know, keep our, our ancestors, uh, you know, high in front of us so that we know mm -hmm. the path. They've given us path and codes and able to, uh, to be able to speak truth to power and to be able to put our people, our culture in the center frame, you know, so... Big shout out to John Singleton and everything Snowfall. And his legacy lives on, you know, and we got to keep it going. And I thank you. Much love to you. And you're welcome back to the Nikki Rich Show anytime. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Nick. Thank you. Bye. Bye.